to participate in the Art Vision Prize for the third year as uh, consecutively is very important on two important levels. First, uh, innovative findings in relation to architect, including material design. Second, it's all about a uh, woman prize, how much woman goes in this uh, perspective concerning their role in changing the world, the life of people through architect. And I'm the mayor of Bethlehem. This is a very important role for me as a woman vis-a-vis -vis architect and how much uh, new findings, new designs, achievements in this perspective is achieved worldwide. This helps me tremendously. For women to be part of uh, leadership is crucial. For me, men and women has their own capacities in leading and uh, managing whether their lives or their communities. However, each one of us has a different capacity and with this difference, we should complete each other's. That is why I don't believe that exclusively men should manage and lead, nor women should exclusively manage and lead. With our differences, we can complete the circle, enrich each other. That's why when I uh, decided to go for the elections and to be the mayor of Bethlehem, it came from my belief that women can create a change from their perspective, capacities, which supposed to complete the other part. As for the main characteristics of a woman leader, first, she has to believe that she owns a voice. To have an inner belief that she can create a change. No woman ever, no man ever can be a leader without first believing in his own voice and capacities. The second, life is a full of challenge. Any leader who cannot accommodate, who cannot engulf challenges, will never succeed. Fear, rejection, conspiracy, the politics of facing them is a capacity that a leader should really learn to grasp. And one of the most important characteristics, a leader is a leader for the others. A leader is a leader for the people and not a leader to stand or to sit on a seat. If a leader cannot go for the people, he will lose intrinsic characteristic of the leader characters. Before being a mayor, I'm an academician. An academician of uh, English women literature, American women literature, and at the same time, I'm a gender researcher. For me, as I told you before, for a woman to be, she has to believe that she owns a voice. I did a research entitled Shahrazads of Today. And Shahrazad is a uh, mythological figure who succeeded to end the beheading of Shahrayar. And for me, Shahrazad is an empowered woman figure that she knows her capacities. She succeeded to end the beheading that her husband committed every night against a, a woman. And she only succeeded because she followed the three steps. She was completely aware of her own capacity and the men's capacities, her own weakness and men's weakness. She succeeded to believe in her own voice and her capacity to change. Though, I went into a research to empower these women, but this research includes the empowerment of women via information communication technology, innovative findings nowadays. And that was important how to use it for good, for empowerment. And by the way, my research is part of a book which was recently published entitled The Use of ICTs in the Arab and uh, African World for the Empowerment of Women and Achieving Change. It is part of 23 researches conducted by women researchers from the Middle East, the Arab world, and Africa as well, North and South.